Well, big day at Rose Hill on Saturday, and uh, first of all, Gerald Ryan joins us. It must be exciting because we're getting into the carnival, and you know what? You're a big player. Yeah, it's good this year, Richie. Yeah, it's a great carnival this year. There's a lot of good horses around, and every race is even, and it's a great carnival. And we're playing at Rose Hill on your own track a bit. Of 100 percent the field, when the fields come out, I said, Gerald Ryan, I said, oh, Gerald Ryan, Gerald Ryan, Gerald Ryan. And it's like we've turned the clock back a bit, it's super. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, a lot of... A lot of nice listening work at the moment and the right race is coming up for them. Let's go through race book order, makes it easier for my daughter who does the editing and for everyone else to follow. <laughs> <laughs> of course you know my daughter Jess. She'll be right. She'll, She'll be right. If she's taking over her old man, she'll be right. <laughs> race one, Jerry, uh, Maraquita, and it wasn't a great to see her win last time. Oh, it was good, you know, she's honest, knocking on the door, doesn't help herself the way a racing captain gets back, hits the line. Rachel rode her really well. Race set up good for her and she's able to get the job done. Just a little bit of speed and if she can just not be left flat footed, she can work into the race under her terms. That's right, she's uh, you try and make it go early, she flat with the shoes and tails out and you've got to wait until she decides she wants to go forward and um, then she travels and she can hit the line really well. What about you go to race four, uh, the Stan Fox? Uh, what did you make of Trapeze Artist first up? I thought he ran super, you know, he had 61 kilos. Bit of weight? Um, needing to run. Uh, he's pretty laid back, boys. It's hard to get a line on him. Uh, taking the blinkers off him this week, and he did trial on Monday here, and a good trial at was proper and trialled really well against you know, genuine group horses and Sackler's behind him. You know, he probably could have picked him up and front him side too, but there's no check ch in that race on the Barrier one, ideal. It looks a bit of speed. Gay's horse will go forward. You should just get the perfect run. Ideal. If the blinkers off, he won't be nowhere near as keen. And from the one, she put him on seat and she'd be carrying a good ride. Now, this horse uh, will be on top of the speed, I assume, in the Theo Marks deploy, but it's a pretty handy little race. It's a good race. Uh, he's a horse who's gone through his trades good, makes his own luck, gets up in speed and travels. Um, didn't think it'd come up as strong as it has, but it's come up very strong with Chris's and Ayers in it. And that, but he's going well, you know, he's worked here on Tuesday mornings as good as I've seen him do, and he's a horse that uh, just keeps taking the next step every time I throw it at him, and he's going well. Magic Alibi, I think it runs, is it running the Scirocco? Yeah, certainly, Magic Alibi. What, what were you doing the barrier draws this week? Barrier one. <laughs> <laughs> I wish there was. There's a couple of wouldn't have drawn where they're drawn. But uh, she's a fresh mare, uh, probably not genuinely up to this class. She did run second or third, third in this race last year, fresh up. Um, didn't look a strong race, but turned out the group one winners come out of it. Um, but she's had a freshen up since the last start. She's bright and well, and going good, has worked well, drawing a good gate. Enough speed in the race for her to sort of sit back six and seven and to find the line good in a hard race, but you know, she's a nice way chance of good if, if she gets the right race. You've got to give up smoking because when you went out for a for a cigarette, they did the barrier draw for the run to the road. <laughs> I think so, yeah. <laughs> Minari, yeah, uh, eleven of eleven, but first up, big weight, track playing against it, we saw a serious horse. Yeah, he is a serious horse. Come back over close to me. He is a serious horse. He's not a um, Barry Levin. He's not ideal, but you know, haven't had a chance to do the speed map yet. But I would picture he'd be going forward somewhere because he's having a quick look. You go back on him, you're going to be three and four wide. So um, probably go forward a little bit there. What did you make of the first step? Run like there was a lot of talk after the race that he's obviously we know he's a better on the dry track. Although you know, cracking race in the slipper, uh, the dry track's good, but. We all thought maybe you'll stay to the sprint race, but you, you, the Golden Rose is the aim. Yeah, well, I think, you know, originally this prep, when he first started off, I wondered about the Golden Rose, but it's a group one, three-year-old, on your home track, set weights, I thought, why not, you know, you, you, a million dollars, why, why wouldn't you have a crack at it? It's foolish to run away from a race like that. And there's nowhere to hide anywhere, this carnival, you know, the, the, the race is wherever you go, so. I think you go and have a crack at, um, uh, like I said, Group 1, three rolls home track. Is there any um, approaches, any thoughts about the um, the Everest? Hey, one man's eating me. Well, <laughs> she don't eat, she'll eat anything. Uh, um, no, we decided, there were a couple of approaches, but we decided we'd, uh, or Mr. Alamani decided he'd wait till after the Golden Rose. Uh, see where she is, see where he is. See where he is and how he does. 
said he hasn't won a group one yet, so he says he'll worry about it. Race eight, G, uh, Jez. Tango Rain, we we saw the good Tango Rain last start. He's fine, he's going really good. He's improved. He improved from first up to second up. He's improved from second up to second up. So he's going really, really well. Question mark on 1200 in this company. But he's got three kilos, good gait, shocking form. Of course, he's going really well. He'll be very hard to beat. You get a lot of them out of their comfort zone too because he just sustains speed. He's a very good horse, and mm. like you say, he can sustain it. And like he just broke him up here the other week with speed and maintained it throughout the entire journey. So, uh, like you say, he's a sprinter, um, 1200 question marks, but uh, he'll run very well. He's very well. What about the Ferro in the last? Just back to 1400? 1500 was from a tad too far. Just a tad too far. Um, especially the way he races, he, he, he'd like to see him relax a little bit more and uh, settle, follow his speed a little bit. But off that gate, he's going to have to go forward again and be somewhere there. But he, he, he's a good, honest horse in his right class. He certainly hasn't gone backwards since he's run. Like this is sixth round of his preparation, he certainly hasn't gone backwards. Uh, he'll run well again. Jerry's gem for Rose Hill, the best? Spanner in the works, I'll say deep boy. Deep boy? Yeah, he's going really, Against really Egg well. Tart, Fox Play? Oh. We're going to be giving him a start. What's her name? Run the belt. Put the camera, this is a, this is a beautiful girl that's funny. <laughs> Where are we going to see this one, Jess? I don't know, she hasn't even galloped yet. Hasn't galloped? She hasn't, galloped? She hasn't, she hasn't, hasn't galloped, she hasn't first galloped tomorrow morning. She's a bit of a character. Quite good, it's the first preparation in here. She's uh, coming and settling really well. Good luck, mate. Thank you. Gerald Ryan, he's going to be a huge, big player this autumn carnival, uh, spring carnival. <laughs>